Hey guys, just want to talk a little bit about Alpha Brain during this video, which is, um, it's produced by Onnit, so you can find it at onnit.com, and it's a nootropic, it's a nootropic blend, you can say, like a proprietary blend that's become very, very popular. You can find it on Joe Rogan's podcast, he, he discusses it, um, he discusses it in a couple of interviews, as well as the CEO, of course, of Omnit, and this is probably one of the most the most popular nootropic supplements out there because typically people don't want to learn about the specific ingredients and what to take. So I'll take the time just to um, deconstruct it a little bit. So there, um, I'm gonna go over the ingredients right now. There's tyrosine, great, theanine, great, oat, straw extract. Um, there's phosphatidylserine, which is great. There's um, L, there's alpha GPC, bacopa, and huperzine A. Um, Vinposidine and L-leucine, which is um, one of the three vital, the way well, yeah, one of the three BCAAs. What the most effective thing really in this nootropic is the L-tyrosine, and then secondly, the phosphatidylserine. So from a marketing perspective, I think it was very, very smart of them just to put those two ingredients there because those two ingredients, L-tyrosine and phosphatidylserine, maybe even Bacopa are three ingredients which you'll notice instantly. They will they will really help to fight stress. So these are something you can take and um, I've talked about this before that you can take these three supplements and you just feel like you've almost like took a nap. You feel really refreshed. That being said, Beyond that, this is not gonna do much. Like to justify the cost of $67 for 45 servings is absolutely nuts. Um, I can't understand it. I mean, you can just buy some L-tyrosine and get a, a much more better bang for your buck. The L-tyrosine, again, is responsible for fighting fatigue. It's also responsible to um, help with energy levels. It's sort of like a a caffeine that isn't as strong, isn't like a drug, it's not really like a stimulant, but it will help to fight appetite, it'll help with fat loss, help with all that good stuff. Theanine, that'll, that'll help you just relax a little bit, help with calmness, help for social situations. Phosphatidylserine, same same thing, as well as it helps to fight off um, increases increased levels of cortisol. So you can decrease your cortisol levels by taking a little bit of phosphatidylserine, and it's very, 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 very effective, especially if you're sleep deprived. Um, alpha GPC is great. That's an amazing ingredient. And then Bacopa, that'll help fight fatigue. It'll help with your memory as well, help to, with stress resilience. Um, Hoperzine A is, Hoperzine A and Vinpostine are two ingredients which I'm not really so sure of. They are necessary. At those dosages, I mean, I can't even really see them being effective. I've tried them many, many times. Hoperzine A and Vinpostine. They did nothing for me. I mean, absolutely nothing. I could just be a non-responder, but as well, when I talk to people or read online, most people don't react positively to them. Um, what is so is that these are smart drugs which have been around for a very, very long time. So it's a safe move for Alpha Brain to use these um, use these few ingredients. But Vinpostine, Huperzine A, I don't like them a lot. There are um, recent studies that have shown that it actually does do bad things as far as uh, just concerning your cognitive health. But in any case, long story short, I'd rate the supplement just three out of 10 because of the cost. Even though they have several ingredients which are very effective, the doses of them are so small that it is just incomprehensible. Like, I mean, they have, I mean, you can see a focus blend, 240 milligrams, and that consists of Alpha GPC, Bacopa, and Huperzine A, which makes no sense. I mean, Bacopa, you have to really take that at 200 milligrams to 300 milligrams in and itself. And I mean, twice a day to feel it. So you can only imagine how low they're dosing it. But this is something that because you're going to feel like an instant little bit of a kick and you won't be overly stimulated, it will be popular for that reason. And that's branding and that's marketing. But I mean, Call me up, I can make you a much better product for that for half the cost. This is just, it's um, hard to justify again the expense. It's caffeine free, which of course is great. Anybody looking for a mental kick without taking caffeine, they're gonna go ahead and spend the money on it. But in any case, it's cool, it's a decent product. Um, if I were to take it, I would take it, but I would have 10 capsules instead of two because there's just not enough. Um, of it to really be effective. So hope that was helpful guys, and I'll see you all next time.